David in Stuttgart, Germany. I lived in Stuttgart, Germany, and I lived in Ludwigsburg, Germany, which is oh, kind of next door and eh, during my army days, but great little city. Okay, Paul, I follow your YouTube channel with great interest, and I wait for your next post every day. Well, thank you, David. Guten Tag, meine Freund. Um, a question that has been bothering me for a long time, does phasing out the power supply lead to an audible improvement in music playback, or is that hi-fi voodoo? Thanks in advance for answering my question. I am not sure exactly what you're asking. Is it the phase of the power supply, the way you, know, you turn the plug around and all of that? Is that, is that what you were referring to, David? Because if it is, uh, no. In a system, it can make a grounding difference sometimes. But generally speaking, I, I, I know people buy into this all the time, that, that, that you gotta get the phase of the AC right in order for it to sound right. And I've never been an advocate of that, and I've never heard a difference in that. So if that's what you're asking me, I'm gonna say no. I don't think it's important. That said, and I'm gonna rail on this probably as we launch the PMG series. It is so power supply intensive that I'm gonna rail on it. So get ready. I showed you a few days ago the PMG preamplifier and how we had all these massive film capacitors in that because that, and especially in a preamp, is so critical. The, I mean, a preamp is basically a beautiful power supply with a valve, that's the amplification system, that's turning the power supply on and off into your power amplifier. Power supplies are critical. And the better the supply, the better the sound. And yes, you need a great circuit that doesn't muck up the power supply delivery, and, uh, and we go through all of that stuff, right? But power supplies are critical, and I wanted to show you this is the inside of a PMG 512 DAC. And this is just an engineering sample. You're not seeing, there's a big cage that goes over this, a, a big ISO. This is the PureStream DSD 512 module. And this is a PDM DAC. So this DAC takes in PCM or DSD, no problem, but it outputs pulse density modulation where we directly take that and run it through an analog volume control at the output, and you get analog, because the, the, the stream, the PDM pulse density modulation stream, comes out of the, um, the pure stream uh, DSD engine and goes directly into a low pass filter and you get it out. I mean, it's, it's amazing. But what I wanted to show you, look at the size of this transformer. This DAC draws relatively no current. It's, I mean, it's, I think the highest voltage in this thing is probably 10 volts. Um, it's, you know, most of this logic runs at like two or three volts, and there's very little current. I mean, it makes a little bit of heat. This is probably 10 times larger than it needs to be. This is a massive transformer. Why? It sounds better. It has lower impedance. The wire is thicker. The primary and secondary wires are huge relative to what's needed. Power supply, power supply, power supply. All these caps, you can't see them under here. There's a huge amount of power supply under here um, where you've got the sequencer. This whole section is power supply. All throughout here, power supply, power supply, regulator after regulator, transformer, huge, big caps, all that kind of good stuff all in service of taking that power supply voltage and modulating it as a valve to the output. And that's the key to great, great sound. So anyway, thought you'd enjoy seeing the PMG 512 signature DAC. That's, there she is, okay. Yep, I am proud of it, okay. <laughs>